You know, when I was in Afghanistan, taxes paid for my body armor. Taxes paid for my weapons and my ammunition. Taxes paid for the emergency life flight that my buddies got flown out on when they lost their legs. Taxes pay for Gold Star families, for the 14 children that I know today without fathers. And more than that, you know, they support cops and firefighters, you know, every public service that this nation offers. And where I come from, leaders are meant to lead by example. And you inspire those to follow you. Uh, and I think that if Trump's free riding on the political process and the system, then I think that's such a dangerous precedent as a leader. On this show last night, we talked with a decorated U.S. Marine Corps veteran named Peter Kiernan. He's a Marine Special Operator who served in Afghanistan. He's now back home stateside. He's about to get his college degree. And in the meantime, he has started up this kind of genius political project. He says he's bothered by the prospect that we might get a new commander in chief without knowing anything about his financial ties and his history of paying taxes or not. And so he's decided to try to exert an unusual kind of pressure on Donald Trump to release his taxes. He's using CrowdPAC to crowdsource donations that would go to 10 different veterans charities if and only if Donald Trump did release his tax returns. The way it works is people pledge to donate, but they don't actually have to make the donation. They don't have to pay until Trump puts out his taxes. Anytime before the, the day of the third and final debate, October 19th. Recently, the billionaire co-founder of LinkedIn pledged that he would match everybody else's donations five to one, up to five million dollars. So that means if Afghan war vet Peter Kiernan can crowdsource a million bucks in pledged donations, this tech billionaire will add five million more dollars to the pot for a total of six million dollars that would go to veterans charities if and only if Donald Trump released his tax returns. So we had Peter Kiernan here on the show last night to talk about it. I'm here to report now that overnight they added another half million dollars in total pledges that they've got. They were aiming, uh, they went from 400,000 up to 938,000. They're aiming at a million bucks. They're now very close to that. Uh, at the current rate, they will likely eclipse that million dollar mark very soon. And that will mean six million dollars is on the table, ready to go to 10 different vets charities. All Donald Trump has to do to make that happen is release his taxes, just like every other presidential candidate in modern history has ever done. Six million bucks would do a lot of good for America's veterans. Mr. Trump, you don't get the money, the veterans do. Is that okay? The pot might get even bigger though. Peter Kiernan tells us tonight that if they do hit a million bucks, which of course will instantly become six million dollars for veterans with Reed Hoffman's five million dollar pledge, if they do that, then they're gonna try to keep it going. They'll set a new goal of 10 million dollars for veterans. Maybe that'll be enough to sway Donald Trump and his campaign. We'll see, watch this space.